nothing beats typing with a full-blown keyboard. Even though touchscreens have gotten more responsive and just better in general, typing with two thumbs will never beat typing with 10 fingers. Interestingly enough, I'm not the only person that agrees with that. There's a few app developers and even Apple themselves uh, that share the same sentiment. And because of this, there are ways to text from your real keyboard and your computer instead of your phone. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually text from your computer, regardless of whether you have Android or iOS. So first up, if you have iOS and a Mac, this is actually gonna be quite easy for you. Both devices have iMessage installed automatically. It's just a matter of making sure the settings are correct uh, so that you can send and receive SMS and iMessage on both. So first up on the Mac, you're gonna open messages and then log in with your iCloud account if you're not already logged in. On the phone, you're gonna to go to settings, then messages. Make sure iMessage is on. Tap on text message forwarding. This allows the computer to send SMS and not just iMessage. Turn it on for your Mac, which should be displayed there. Put the code you see on your Mac into the field prompting you for it on your iPhone and tap allow. At this point, you can just open messages on your Mac and start typing away. Uh, if you had some issues with this, please double check to make sure that your iCloud account is the same one on your Mac as it is on your iPhone. Next up, if you have an iPhone and a Windows computer, you're in for a headache. Simply put, there is no real good, reliable, simple way to get your messages on your Windows computer just because of the way that iPhone is built. It doesn't like things messing with the messages. You have the option to run an iPad simulator, which you can click the link below for that on your Windows computer, and then you can set up iMessage on that, and then you'll be able to essentially do what I just said with the Mac, but with this iPad simulator on your Windows computer. But that seems pretty convoluted to me. So if you're willing to jailbreak your phone, there is another solution that's a little nicer. So first up, you need to jailbreak your phone if you're willing to do this. Uh, click the link below to be taken to my jailbreaking section on my site where you'll have a list of all of the latest jailbreaks that exist. If you are on a version of iOS that's higher than the last one I have on that list, you're not gonna be able to do this until a new version of the jailbreak comes out. When it does, I'll do a new video and it'll be up on that section of the site. Then you can do it and continue from there. But once you do jailbreak and you have Cydia installed, just look for remote messages in there, download it, install it, it costs $4.99, and then follow the instructions there to get it set up. And after that, you'll be able to just send messages directly through the browser window. Next up, we have Android. Now, Google made Hangouts able to send SMS when it's on your phone, but they still have not made it capable of doing that on your desktop. So we have to rely on third-party apps. But thankfully, because Android is so accepting of third-party apps. Uh, there is no problems like there is with an iPhone, and we can use them to easily text from our phone as well as our computer. My two favorite apps that handle this SMS desktop stuff are Pushbullet and Mighty Text. They both do essentially the same thing. Both have free versions. Now, the difference here is that Mighty Text allows you to text 500 texts a month uh, before you need to pay for more and push bullet only allows you to do 100. Now, if you're using this sporadically at an office, that might be okay for you. It's not okay for me. But either way, both have a paid version that costs the same. It's about $3.33 a month if you pay for the year, or it's $5 a month if you just do a month to month. Now, in addition to that, you do get a bunch of other features. You can check the link below for what those are. Otherwise, there is a completely free version called My SMS, but I find it a little glitchy, um, but again, free. So check that one out as well. Regardless of which one you wanna use, it's all pretty much the same setup process. Head to the Play Store, search for and install either Push Bullet, Mighty Text, or My SMS. Open any of them once they are installed and log in with your Google account and then go through the setup process. Then on your desktop, just open your web browser. Uh, I'm using Chrome, but you could use Firefox for most of these as well. Head to the URL that the app gives you, mightytext.net slash app, pushbullet.com, or app.mysms.com, depending on which one you installed, obviously. And then log in with the same account that you logged into the app with when you installed it on your phone. Optionally, you can also install the Chrome extension or Firefox extension if the app has one to get notifications uh, on your desktop whenever someone texts you. After that, you're all set. You can start typing away and feeling the glory that is a real keyboard. There you go.
The easiest way to send SMS from your Android or iOS phone. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter. It's at the unlocker with the E missing in the word unlocker. And as always, thanks for watching.